What are these cripples? She was serious. Ah, okay. And then I can like talk about this uh, this thing. So I can. Um, So as you may have noticed over the last couple of weeks, I haven't really done anything for the vlog. Um, the main reason for this is that I haven't really managed to do any substantial progress on the project and I've been failing on many different approaches that we've been trying to do. So this morning I had like an idea that uh, maybe I could make a video about explaining why failure isn't necessarily the end and uh, you could actually learn much from the failure. So for example, like a few days ago, when I was working on the project that the vlog is about, I had this aim of the project that I wanted to do. And I had like an example which seemed like quite a good uh, operator that I could use. But then doing like a lot of different computation, I was doing quite naive uh, ideas and estimates on the board. I ended up with something which says I didn't know what to do with it and I just couldn't really compute anything reasonable. So after this thing I just like uh, walked to a coffee shop. Just because I wanted to completely clear my mind. I was just relaxing, looking around and really trying to avoid and isolate myself from the uh, mathematical problem that I was working on. And then what I did after this is that I came back to the office, I tried to look at the approach one again a little bit, and then I just tried another approach, which I had in my mind. It is a bit more complicated approach, but it takes into account some other properties which might help maybe. So I did this horrible kind of computation, I tried to work out what's going to happen in this thing, and uh, I ended up failing even worse. Like. I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out what's happened with this more complicated approach, but then I just ended up really spending so much different time. I got quite frustrated at the end, and I wanted to really stop working on the whole project at the end. So after this I did the same, I just went out and tried to get a little bit of perspective and calm down and try to not really think about that's the end of the whole project, I can't really work on it at all. I tried to find more motivation to go back to the approaches that I've already done. So then I just came back and just tried to look at the first approach again. I started to feel like that there might be something more, something missing in the approach that I did initially. And I think I learned a little bit about by when doing that horrible computation in the second approach. So the third approach, even though it failed, it did give me hope of what I could do maybe in the future. So as you saw, we had like three different failures. I tried three different like approaches. But the thing about this is that the first approach one was like I was coming to had a like just a random idea that I was planning to use something what I had already known and then I used some other approach which is, was even more complicated and then I kind of came back to the original approach by learning something from the second failure. I still failed the third time but I still feel like I understand about the problem much more than I understood before. So now the big question is that how do you keep on going? So that's why I'd like to hear from you guys like if you have any experiences on your research projects or other projects that you've done, some failures, and how did you deal with these problems? So going back to the original theory in the beginning of the video where I talked about uh, feedback being the thing that you have instead of failure, I have to say that many of these failures that I've done uh, in many of the research projects have given me a lot of understanding of the problem. So there is really a feedback element coming out from them and uh, that's why I suggest you to do that. Try to find failures. The more you fail, the more understanding you will have. Don't think that you keep on failing that is some problem about your abilities necessarily. It's more about the fact that you're finally getting more and more understanding of the problem. So thanks for watching and if you have any other comments about the things that I mentioned here, just put, put it in the comment section below. And uh, I'll try to upload similar kind of content in the future about this, uh, being a researcher.